Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Click the link in the description to watch the first part of this tutorial. I'm going to be using one inch for my zip allowance. So I'm just going to measure that one inch. What I need is um, 25 plus half an inch for joining at the shoulder and one inch for hemming at the bottom. That will give me 26 and a half. I'm going to cut that. Then I'm going to draw a line for the zip allowance. Alternatively, I can also fold it in like this and hold it with a pin. So for your zip allowance, you can do uh, um, one inch, you can do one and a half, you can do two inches. I'm going to be using a lining, of course, with this. So I'm going to start from this point this uh, where i folded it that's where i'm going to start to measure for my shoulder and every other thing i need to find the shoulder is 14 divided by 2 that will be 7 and i'm going to add my allowance whatever you decide to be your own allowance you just add that on to it i'm going to come down by 10 inches here and this point is going to be the bust point where I'm going to be measuring for the bust. The bust is um, 40 divided by 4 is going to be 10. And I'm going to add 1 inch for my allowance. I'm just going to join this point. up here so now for the half length my half length is 15 and a half plus half for my joining at the shoulder so this is the point and then i'm going to measure the waist at that point i'm going to be using a waist of 37 the actual waist is 35 and a half i'm just adding one and a half more i don't want it to be too tight 37 divided by 2 we give me 18 and a half divided by 2 we give me 9.25 9.25 so this is an easy way for me i just fold it to see what i have so at the waistline that's where i'm going to do my 9.25 but then i'm going to have a dart at the back so for my dart i'm going to add an extra one inch so that gives me um 10.25 and then i'm going to have my one inch of allowance on the side so i'm looking at 11.25 so that's the 11.25 and then the rest of this is just going to be for my for the hip the hip is 44 divided by 4 is 11 and i have 12 inches here that's 11 plus one inch of my same allowance so i'm just going to connect it so I've just connected from the hip to the waist, from the waist to the bust point. And I'm just going to cut that out. Starting from the shoulder, I'm going to cut that. And then the next thing to do will be to do the neckline. And you want the width to be the same thing you had for your front. And for the front, I had four inches. And then for my back, it's not going to be um, too much to the back. It's not going to be too deep at the back. So I can use one and a half or you can use two. Whatever you want. I'll just do one and a half here. Or you can even do one inch depending on how you want it you can also make it deeper if you wanted um loan um 
neckline at the back you can bring it deeper you can make it a v neck if you want at the back but i'm just going to make it a round neck at the back And then I shape the shoulder. You can also take what you cut earlier and use it to shape the shoulder. So the back is uh, complete. And what I need to do now is I need to just um, cut the lining for this. And before I do that, I'm going to open up the back because again we have a zipper at the back so it needs to be separated so i'm going to open up the back so the back is separated and now i can do the lining you can just use one of it i'm just going to do the exact same um size i'll just use the one of it for my template do the exact same thing and I'll just cut this up so we're done with the lining next we'll cut the sleeves this is what the um, sleeve is going to look like. We're going to fold this into two and then we'll fold again so that we're going to have four layers of fabric like we do when we do the basic sleeves. I have another video that will show you how to do that if you want a more detailed um, instruction on that. So check the description for that video as well. I folded this now into four. And then I want to check what I have here for my armhole. I'm going to join uh, to check this. I have like 11 and a half. So when I fold this, I want to make sure I'm going to have that 11 and a half like that. I'm going to fold this a little bit more so that it's not too tight. I'm just extending it a little bit more. This is going to be the lower part of the sleeve. Okay, so this works for me. So the first part of that um, ruffle um, belt sleeve is going to be 11. So I want to look for 11 and I'm going to add um, my allowance at the top. So I'm just going to have add half because when I start to sew it, I'm beginning to measure it from here, the um, inner, um, so the inner curve right here. So this is going to serve, this right here is going to serve as my um, seam allowance when I sew it. So I'm just going to measure 11 and a half from that point. So from that point, I'm going to look for 11 and a half. And 11 and a half is roughly around here. My sleeve round is 17. No, my sleeve round is 15 at that point. When you divide that by 2, that's going to give you 7 and a half. And I'm going to add um, half an inch right there. And then you want to join from that point where you have your full length. You want to do like an inverted S right there. You can also use this to help you. You can take this. And just do that and then you cough it out again to help you get your shape 
and then I'm going to connect from here to here now from this point I'm going to connect it to the sleeve round so now we cut And then we put a knot at the middle. What we need to do next is to make the ruffles. Please click the link in the description to see how to make a circle or a ruffle. Thanks for watching this tutorial and please do leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.